Is it just us, or is it getting hot in here? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 romantic period films. And stay with me. And marry you. And marry me. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at romantic films that take place in a historical setting. As such, we don't just mean films set in the romantic era. These films can be dramas, tragedies, and comedies, however, we'll be excluding miniseries like 2004's North and South. I do not think that I was especially blessed with good fortune or luck. Number 10, Gone with the Wind. The ambition of Gone with the Wind's production was matched only by its larger-than-life narrative, which tells the tale of Scarlett O'Hara, a Civil War-era plantation owner who pines for love while being beset on all sides by tragedy. No, I don't think I will kiss you. Although you need kissing badly. That's what's wrong with you. You should be kissed and often, and by someone who knows how. Featuring iconic performances from lead actors Vivian Lee and Clark Gable, whose on-screen chemistry led to both receiving Oscar nominations, only Lee would win, the film has transcended the medium to become one of history's most enduring tales of romance found and lost. Red, you go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Nominated for a then-record 13 Academy Awards, of which it won eight, Gone with the Wind has been a fixture on greatest films of all time lists for decades and remains one of the most popular romantic period films ever made. Number 9, Dangerous Liaisons. I want the excitement of watching her betray everything that's most important to her. Surely you understand that. I thought betrayal was your favorite word. No, no. Cruelty. Adapted from an 18th century French novel, Dangerous Liaisons features a cast of 90s all-stars in Glenn Close, John Malkovich, Michelle Pfeiffer, Keanu Reeves, and Uma Thurman. The period drama, which delves into the romantic entanglements and political upheaval of pre-revolution France, includes enough plotting, sex, and revenge to satisfy the cinematic appetites of all moviegoers. Over the age of 17, that is. Goodbye. No! You must listen to me! No! Earning seven Academy Award nominations and winning three, the film's wicked narrative and robust characters make for highly entertaining viewing, guaranteed to steam up your next movie session. I have reason to believe that a, oh, how shall I describe it? That a dangerous liaison has sprung up between your daughter and the Chevalier Donceny. Number eight, Far From The Matting Crowd. What angers you exactly? Please. What I said or the way I said it. Adapted from Thomas Hardy's 1874 novel of the same name, Far From the Madding Crowd is a costume drama of the highest order. Featuring the talents of Carrie Mulligan, Matthias Schoonartz, and Michael Sheen, the film explores the highs and lows of searching for love and financial security in Victorian England. I have a piano. And I have my own farm. And I have no need for a husband. At the center of it all is Bathsheba Everdeen, who finds herself falling for three different men. Director Thomas Vinterberg has crafted a world of intense passions and swoon-worthy characters one would expect from a period piece of this nature. However, the film still manages to surprise thanks to the addition of a number of steamy scenes not found in the original source material. I gave you my word. Now I will take this. Number 7, Shakespeare in Love. Shakespeare in Love broke the mold at the 71st Academy Awards when it took home seven Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Original Screenplay. Tell me how you love her, Will. Like a sickness and its cure together. Yes. Like rain and sun. Like cold and heat. You see, period rom coms don't typically receive recognition from the Academy especially when facing stiff competition in the Best Picture category, from war films like Saving Private Ryan and The Thin Red Line, Holocaust films like Life is Beautiful, and straightforward historical dramas like Elizabeth. Shakespeare in Love topped them all, and in doing so became one of the most instantly recognizable romantic period films of all time. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. The on-screen chemistry of stars Gwyneth Paltrow and Joseph Fiennes keeps the film, which is not constrained by worries about literacy or historical accuracy, grounded, and steeped in an abundance of charm. A very worthy sum on a very worthy question. Can a play show us the very truth and nature of love? Number six, Sense and Sensibility. Pathetic. 
To die for love? How can you say so? What could be more glorious? I think that may be taking your romantic sensibilities a little far. With an eye-catching 98% approval on Rotten Tomatoes and seven Academy Award nominations to its name, including a win for writer and star Emma Thompson, one could argue that Sense and Sensibility eclipsed the popularity of the seminal 1811 novel it's based on. In true Austinian fashion, passions run hot throughout the film, as the Dashwood sisters attempt to secure a future for themselves through marriage. Eleanor, where is your heart? What do you know of my heart? What do you know of anything but your own suffering? While Sense and Sensibility occasionally veers towards the comedic, it's first and foremost a period drama, exploring themes of class, gender, and relationships in 19th century England. Love is not love, which alters when its alteration finds, and all bends with a remover to remove. With its whimsical setting, dreamy cast, and flurry of unbridled emotions, it's easy to see why this film made our list. Number five, Atonement. C. Yes? What do you think it would feel like to be someone else? Cooler, I should hope. Atonement is set in the years before, during, and after World War II, and features a trio of heartbreaking performances from James McAvoy, Kira Knightley, and Saoirse Ronan. Probably look I don't know. <laughs> look at me. The film revolves around two lovers, Robbie and Cecilia, whose passion for one another is equaled only by the jealousy of Cecilia's younger sister, Bryony. Bryony's envy causes her to commit a tragic act of deceit, one with far-reaching consequences for all involved. It's about a young girl, a young and foolish girl who sees something from her bedroom window which she doesn't understand, but she thinks she does. Despite this act of cruelty, the film still manages to instill a sense of hope and desire in viewers, who pine for a happy ending for Robbie and Cecilia. Australia's Herald Sun called it a, quote, superb drama, one that works devastating wonders upon an unsuspecting audience. Number four, Dr. Zhivago. Helmed by director David Lean, whose prowess for delivering cinematic epics of magnanimous proportions is the stuff of Hollywood legend, Dr. Zhivago managed to encapsulate the romance and drama of its source material in the way only a truly great film can. Unhappy in their jobs, unhappy with their wives, doubting themselves, happy men don't volunteer. A sweeping historical romance, the film is set in Russia and follows Yuri Zhivago, a married doctor who must overcome the hurdles of World War I, the Russian Revolution, and the subsequent Russian Civil War. Through it all, he dreams of being with his one true love, Lara, a married woman. You know, you often look at me as though you knew me. I have seen you. Four years ago, Christmas Eve. Dr. Zhivago was one of the defining films of the 1960s, taking home five Academy Awards and later coming in at number seven on AFI's list of 100 Years, 100 Passions. What are we going to do? I don't know. Number three, The English Patient. The English Patient cracked the top 20 of 1996's highest grossing films and took home nine Academy Awards, making it one of the rare period romances to achieve massive critical and commercial success. The film tells the story of a badly burned man recounting his life story to a nurse at the end of World War II. The fire is gone now, and I'm hor horribly cold. Through flashbacks, it's revealed that the man, Count Laszlo de Almashi, fell in love with a married woman and that the two shared an epic and passionate romance. You still have sand in your hair. The film features no shortage of steamy sex scenes and intense action, and Ray Fiennes and Juliette Binoche delivered timeless performances as the aforementioned doomed couple. Roger Ebert called it a, quote, poetic, evocative film, and we're hard-pressed to argue with him. I just want you to know I'm... I'm not missing you yet. You will. You will. Number two, Titanic. What can we say about James Cameron's groundbreaking 1997 film that hasn't already been said? Three years. I thought of nothing except Titanic, but I never got it. The fictional romance between Leonardo DiCaprio's Jack Dawson and Kate Winslet's Rose DeWitt Bucator, which would have likely still enthralled viewers had it not taken place aboard the doomed titular vessel, is the stuff of cinematic legend. There are simply too many iconic scenes to choose from. 
From Rose sitting for Jack in the nude, to the two of them dancing below deck, to that heartbreaking final scene in which Jack sacrifices himself so that Rose can live. I'll never let go. The romance at the heart of Titanic somehow managed to dwarf the event itself, and has gone on to inspire countless young lovers to share a tender embrace on the bows of ships the world over. A woman's heart is a deep ocean of secrets. But now you know there was a man named Jack Dawson, and that he saved me in every way that a person can be saved. Before we swoon over our top pick, let's have a look at some honorable mentions. Fairfax Rochester with nothing to say. You're altogether a human being, Jane. I conscientiously believe so. So long as the woman you love lives, and lives for you, all the privilege I claim for my own sex, and it's not a very enviable one, you need not covet it, is that of loving longest when all hope is gone. You knew that you couldn't be happy if it meant being cruel. If we act any other way, I'll be making you act against what I love in you most. And I can't go back to that way of thinking. They belong to types that can fall in love but can't live together. I'm afraid that, that in nine cases out of ten, nature pulls one way and human nature the other. You think that people would have had enough of silly love songs? I look around me and I see it isn't so. <laughs> Number one, Pride and Prejudice. A romantic period piece adapted from a Jane Austen novel and starring Kira Knightley? No wonder it took the top spot on our list. I don't understand. I love you. Most ardent. Pride and Prejudice is easily Austen's most well-known novel, and features the setting, characters, and themes that her work will forever be synonymous with. The film adaptation is no different. Knightley shines as protagonist Elizabeth Bennet, whose search for love weaves her in and out of the life of the stoic yet handsome Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy? I can more easily forgive his vanity had he not wounded mine. Nominated for four Academy Awards, Pride and Prejudice garnered rave reviews from critics and remains one of the 21st century's definitive romantic films. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, and love, and love you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.